Hey guys, this is VT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be my GameCube collection video. I don't think I've done a GameCube collection video in a long time, so this one's going to be a massively needed updated collection video. So first we're going to start with the ones that do not have cases. And the first one is Monsters, Inc. Scream Arena. And there's a disc right there. And we got Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. I don't know what it is with me and like Incredible Hulk games, but I love them because they relieve like a lot of stress when you play them. And so far, every one that I've played, I've enjoyed, so definitely recommend those for stress relievers. Then I have Freestyle Street Soccer, which I don't think I've ever played this game. This was like a dollar when I picked it up. And also Backyard Football. I've always liked the Backyard Sports games. I don't know why. Like I kind of grew up with them as a kid and I just got addicted to them. I just love the concept behind them. Okay, so now to all of the sports games. Or most of the sports games, let me rephrase that. This one's actually a really good sports game, and this is NHL Hits 2002. Even if you don't like hockey, like if you're not a big fan of hockey, this is still a really fun game to play. It's It's got like different power-ups. It kind of reminds me, like, if I had to describe it, it'd be like the NBA Jam of hockey. So definitely recommend that one. Then we got NHL 06. That's now NHL of Dead. NBA Live 2005, NBA Live 2006, Sega Sports NBA 2K2. This was one of that was one of the first games actually I had for my GameCube. EA Sports Madden 2004, Madden 07, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. This was actually pretty fun too. I had this on Game Boy Advance as well and I really liked it on there but on GameCube it's also fun. Um, Day of Reckoning. This one is like one of the few wrestling games I have because I'm not a big wrestling like person at all but there are a few video games of wrestling that I really like to play and this is one of them so that's why I have it in my collection. Then I have Fight Night Round 2 that also has Super Punch Out on it. And MVP Baseball 2005. I'm going to save the Marios for last, so we'll just get to this pile right here. And the first one is Dungle. Dungle. The first one is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. These are actually also really fun games to play if you're stressed out. Donkey Konga. I also have the bongos but I do not have them with me. They might be in this room somewhere on a shelf but I don't think they are. I have Donkey Konga 2. Then we have Spyro A Hero's Tale. Love Spyro. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Spyro was technically, I don't know if it was the first game I ever played on PlayStation, like the first PlayStation, but it was either that or Crash and I love both of them. Then I got True Crime New York City, also love this game, Tarzan Untamed, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue, this is one that I picked up when I was still working at Blockbuster, it still has my store number on there, yep. Back in Blockbuster days, Beautiful Joe, and Beautiful Joe 2. Move this stack out of the way before it starts and wants to collapse. Alright, this was the first game that I ever got on GameCube, and that is NBA Street Volume 2. I love the NBA Street games. That one's one of my favorites. Then we got now I didn't put these in the sports titles because I actually like these are the I don't consider the street series as sports games because they are sports games, but they're also like really different than normal sports games, so I kind of just stuck them in this pile. But I also have FIFA Street. And FIFA Street 2. Then I have the Chronicles of Narnia. Muppets Party Cruise. This game's god awful, but I like the Muppets, so 
Then we got The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest 2 game bonus disc. We got One Piece Grand Battle. Pinball, oh, Pinball Hall of Fame The God Loop Collection. I love this game. I love pinball games. That's one of my favorite pinball games. We got Worms Blast, which I actually am not a big fan of the Worm series, but this one actually... It's, it's kind of like a puzzle game. It reminds me of, like, Bust a Move, but with a little bit of a different concept to it. I actually really do enjoy this one. But the normal Worms games, I'm not a big fan of. Then we got Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. And apparently I have another copy of Tarzan, Tarzan Untamed that I was not aware of until just now. How I got two copies of that game, I have no idea. Now we have this rest of this stack. We have... I don't know how to correctly pronounce this, but Odama. This is a like really unique pinball game, and it can get really hard, but it's really unique. It's it's fun. I definitely recommend playing it. If you like pinball games, that's one that you you really do need to play. Then I got Animaniacs: The Great Edgar Hunt. The next time I say and I got take a drink or a shot or something, because apparently I just keep saying that, so we might as well play a game with it. Uh, Animaniacs: The Great Edgar Hunt. This one is pretty fun, but for some reason, I don't know why, this is like a kid's game, and I'm stuck, so. But I like Animaniacs, so I had to get that. Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc. Love the Rayman games. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. We have like a, have, you guys can see, it. it's like right here, the whole thing is about to fall over any second. Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime Echoes bonus disc. Let me just start another stack. Wario World, one of my favorite games on the GameCube. I played that as a kid, so I have a lot of like nostalgia for that. Extreme Skate Adventure, or Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. Pac-Man World 3. Some of these still have stickers on them that I need to get off. Then I have Pokemon, take another shot, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Wave Race Blue Storm, this is a really good, I mean, if you love Wave Race on the 64 and you have a GameCube and you don't have this game, pick it up. A lot of people are not going to agree with me probably because Wave Race 64 is like the original Wave Race, but this one is my favorite. Like, I think this one is better than that one, so definitely check that one out. Uh, Sapper One Wicked Cricket. 1080 Avalanche. This is a good snowboarding game if you like snowboarding games. Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure, which a lot of the things they have on here now like don't exist anymore. Like Back to the Future is on there. Then we got Nicktoons. <laughs> guys gonna be drunk by the end of this if you guys drink. Then we got Nicktoons Unite. You know what I wish they would make? I wish they'd make a Nicktoons game based on the 90s, like purely the 90s Nickelodeon shows. That would be awesome. Like create like a party game or something out of that. That would be awesome. Alright, then we have... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go back to this video and I'm going to play this drinking game myself just to see how much, how many times I said and then I have. Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. I Some of the Scooby-Doo games like I really like and others I don't. This one I actually really do like. Geist. Pitfall, The Lost Expedition. Not one of my favorite Pitfall games, but I also picked this one up. Yeah, I picked this one up back when I worked at my Blockbuster. Uh, same with this one, Madagascar. I do keep the Blockbuster stickers on there for that reason. It, uh, Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. The Arcade Edition Road Trip. Smashing Drives. My camera better not screw up me because, like, it's starting to get on my nerves. It does it all the time. Happy Feet. That was my knee. Open Season. Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. This was also, I think this was one of the first games that I got when I got my GameCube. But I love this game. Like, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. And I also like Quidditch. And this is, I just really enjoy that game. Crash Bandicoot. The Wrath of Cortex. 
and KO round two, the kangaroo. Monster 4x4, Masters of Metal. Chibi Robo plug into Adventure. About to plug into a GameCube game collapse in a minute. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. A lot of people really enjoy this game. I can't get into it. I don't know why. Like, it just, I'm lost is one thing. And another thing, it's just like, I don't mean dark as a sense of like horror, but it's dark as in like the screen's like literally like too dark. And I don't like games like that where I have to like try to see it to play it. So I don't know if that's just my TV or what, but it annoys me. Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Attack and the Power of Juju. I actually beat this game on Game Boy Advance. That was an adventure. Attack 2, The Staff of Dreams. Uh, no, wait, it wasn't that. I did not beat Tack and the Power of Juju. This is the one I beat on Game Boy Advance. That was Tack the Great Juju Challenge. You could tell it's a similar name. Super Monkey Ball. If you have not tried the Super Monkey Ball series, I definitely recommend it. Super Monkey Ball 2. Also, if you love snowboarding games, try this series as well. SSX Tricky, especially the older ones like these. This is probably my favorite out of the bunch. And SSX on tour. The newer ones aren't as good, in my opinion. Um, this one also has some of the Mario characters in it as well. Alright, now talking about Mario, let's get to the Mario games. We have Super Mario Sunshine, which I also picked up when I worked at Blockbuster. I got a really good deal on this. This was like seven bucks back in 2005. God, I'm old. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's when I got that. And I probably got it for like five with my discount. Luigi's Mansion, Mario Power Tennis, Mario Party 5, Mario Party 6. I actually really enjoy Mario Party 5. Some people don't like it, but I enjoy that one. Mario Party 7, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Mario Superstar Baseball, love that game. Mario Kart Double Dash, which this is just, I think this is just the, yeah, this is the one disc version. This isn't my favorite, it's still Mario Kart, so it's still awesome, but out of all the Mario Karts, this is not like my favorite, but it's also not my least favorite either, so. Then we have Sonic Mega Collection. Sonic DX Adventure. Director's Cut, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, however you want to say it. This is the same game as, pretty much the same game as Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sorry, my head like halfway cut off in this video. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Riders, which I really enjoy playing. And then Shadow the Hedgehog. And that is all of my GameCube games. So, I know, like, I don't really have that many GameCube games. I mean, I have a decent amount, but if you guys recommend any games that I do not have in my collection, um, please let me know. I did have Zelda Twilight Princess, but I also have it on Wii, and I got rid of the GameCube version. I probably should have done it the other way around. But at the time, that's what I did, so, um, I had that, and I also had F-Zero GX, which I sold because I bought it from GameStop Online, and the disc was, like, not up to par for that, like, I really want a complete version of that game, and they just gave me the disc, so I sold that one. I'm looking to get that one back as well. Any other recommendations, let me know. And yeah, so, um, I do also want to get the Pokemon Coliseum games on GameCube. It's hard to find those cheap nowadays. Uh, which, I actually had one, I think, when I was a kid, and I don't know what ever happened to it, but I do not have it now. But yeah, so give me recommendations down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys also enjoy my videos, please hit the bell button. That way you get notified when I upload videos. I don't upload videos as often as some other YouTubers, so you won't get like bombarded by notifications when I upload videos. Um, also, I'm a smaller YouTube channel by far, so therefore my videos kind of get pushed down below people that have a lot more subscribers. So. That's another reason, just to hit the notification bell for that. I do not like pushing things like this on my channel, but we all know how YouTube is nowadays, so 
just a recommendation if you guys want to see more videos. I'm going to probably do more collection videos. I know I always say that and I never get around to it. Um, if you see, go to my channel if you want to. And if you see any ones that I haven't done recently, of anything that you might see in the back or you know that I have, let me know and I will do that on recommendation basis. And yeah, so thank you guys for, watch, for watching. Please make sure you are compassionate to each and everyone around you. And everybody have a great day.